Hello everyone, this is James Shore with another Test Driven Development video. I am picking up where I left off in the last video. It's still June 30th for me. And what we were doing is we're fleshing out the configuration for our, our application. We have starting balance, we've had that for a long time, but now we have cost basis, which is just awesome. So um, what we're going to do next uh, is get the last dollars field in there, which is, I believe, the amount to sell every year. Let me see. Yeah, the yearly spending. Um, that's going to be next, but and in preparation for that, I'm going through and I'm factoring out commonalities. So here, we can see, I think, yeah, we can pull out label component and the field. Let's go ahead and move that up. And then these all become method uh, assert field pair. That's not a great name, but we'll we'll come back to that. And then we can inline this and inline this. And eliminate that. Eliminate that. Yeah, I mean, technically, going out and getting that layout manager again is a bit wasteful in terms of code runtime, but I think it makes the code a little bit easier to read um, because now I'm asserting on the field pair uh, just the way I want to. And actually, I think this might read even better like that. Okay, and what we're missing here is the message. Should be the starting balance. There we go. Assert form field, I think. That should still work. Okay. This, uh, this is fairly compact. This, on the other hand, is not. I could go to a mock object framework or could just factor out my mock application model class. I think I'll start by doing that. So let's go ahead and grab these two lovelies. 
bring them into here. That shouldn't break anything. And then turn this into a private static inner class. That shouldn't break anything. There we go. And um, hmm, we could even set up that configuration panel with some mock values, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. So I was just looking at whether or not I could eliminate this, you know recreation of the configuration panel. I could, but I don't think I want to. So I should be able to get rid of this right now. There we go. Okay, so now that we've factored out our commonalities, let's go ahead and add the next form field, which as I said, is going to be yeah, the next one we want is going to be yearly spending. So we're going to assert that we have a yearly spending form field. Um, we will assert that, but first we need, yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. We need to have six of these. It's going to fail because we only have four. And then here, That should pass. Yep. Okay. Now we'll go into our initializer. We need a starting yearly spending, or just a yearly spending. That doesn't exist yet, so we're going to go into uh, stock market, no, application model, which interestingly doesn't have a yearly spending yet.
but we have it down here. 695 is the value we're initializing that to. Let's go ahead and make sure we don't want to test around that. Oh, we do want to test around it. Okay, so let's see. How are we doing? Everything's green. Good. Oops. So The reason I didn't have this in here is because our starting year, which is stock market year, ah, oh, there it is, total sell orders. I think that's going to work. Yeah, it passes because in application model we're hard coding it. If I change this to a zero, it will fail. And then if I change it back, really spending, it should pass. Good. Okay, so that's that. Now here, I need to make a yearly spending accessor, which I'm not going to test because it's just returning a variable. Not a whole lot of point in testing that. Okay. That failed for the wrong reason. Don't we have a yearly spending field? Oh, I guess we don't yet. Now that should fail. Um, expected 695 but was 0. But if we go back into here, and rather than creating it, we actually set it to the application model, it should work just fine. Yeah. Okay. And then we can extend, we'll write the test to assert that the yearly spending field updates the application model. Be exactly the same as this. The neighbor, the neighbor, the neighbor, the beast. Now that hasn't, isn't going to compile. Ooh, we're running out of time. Are we going to make it? I think we will. Okay, that's failing because we don't actually have um, a set yearly spending inside of 
application model yet. So that's where we're going to pick up. We aren't going to make it. That's where we'll pick up next time. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I will catch you next time.